Adjutant online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the Med Officer can provide you with additional cryostim supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmat. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral de Gaulle. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dugan. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Boralus. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. Reporting for duty. Hey everybody, welcome back to StarCraft. So yeah, there's no, uh, there's no gas here, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, we start with siege tanks, so this is already my favorite mission. But uh, no, this is uh, this is my favorite campaign. To be honest, the um, the Protoss campaign uh, kind of boring to me. I don't really like the Protoss to begin with. Uh, I much more like Terrans. Terrans are pretty cool. Um, Terrans are my favorite race, but definitely the Zerg campaign has the best story. So, uh, if you didn't catch up on what's uh, going on right now, we are uh, uh, attack force sent from Earth, basically to take control of the sector. Um, the, the reason why the reason the, the thing you may be wondering is why do we uh, have uh, access to already Terran technology from this sector? And the and the answer to that is uh, because apparently of mercenaries. They hired mercenaries, and now we have mercenaries, I guess. I don't know. That's that's basically the justification went with it. But they brought back um, some new Terran technologies as well, uh, which only you have access to in the campaign, which is kind of cool. Um, one 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 of which I can't see right now. It's the Goliath the Goliath missile booster thingies. I forgot what they're called, but they're, they're pretty cool. And what the missile booster thingies do is uh, they kill everything. No, they um, raise the attack uh, range of the. Missiles that they have, the anti-air stuff, to basically that of uh, Goliath. Uh, sorry, uh, Guardians. Yeah, Goliaths. Um, and so that was a major buff that they did to the Goliaths. So that Brudor is the uh, balanced version of StarCraft per se. But it was a campaign upgrade. Like if you play the original StarCraft online, uh, you won't get access to any of this crap. So it sucks to be you. Uh, you should probably get your allowance earlier, you schmuck. Anyways. Uh, so continuing on with uh, this campaign, uh, this one this one's fun because I don't know the the, the Protoss kind of they're probably the the worst smelling race in, in the entire entire game, and I'm I'm dead serious about that because when you think about it logically, you know the Protoss have no noses at all, so you know I don't know really what you expect from a from a race that does not have a nose. <clears throat> you see, like the Zerg probably smell pretty bad. But they're, pr they're probably more proud of it, judging by like how Zerg are, so, you know, please discuss in the comments. Anyways, 
Oh, I can make some vultures. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. So we're gonna just attack early right now. Fortunately, no siege mode. So these tanks are gonna be in the back since I cannot repair them. Oh god, it's a bear. Attack it. Oh god, fire bats. Attack them. No, Marine died. I don't really know why they moved up like that. All right, let's just wait for a couple more guys come 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 up, come up here. So we have a little base over here that we have to attack. Tanks fortunately have a hell of a lot of range, so you know it's really not going to be an issue. Except I'm, I'm kind of grouping my Marines just right so they all get hit by the splash damage. This is this is pro tactics brought to you by your friend Mike. Nobody quite plays Starcraft like I do. Anyways, I'm just using the tanks here to basically uh, just kill that little base because it's irritating to me that it exists. It's insulting to me, and they should feel bad. Alright, I think we're good here. I'm pretty sure that the, the, the campaign units here, or whatever, the, the, the Dominion doesn't have any access to cloaking technology or whatever. Otherwise, I'd need, like, uh, science houses or something. Oh, he hit a tank. Your dick. All right, so we're kind of just looking around for gas supplies. Obviously, nothing, nothing of the sort right over here. I guess I can go bring a couple more guys over. I don't know. Finding, finding gas is hard. Uh, probably not up here. Now they unfortunately have a base somewhere, and uh, it's really, really heavily defended. I actually want to show you guys. Uh oh. No, no, no. We learned to hoard. All right, let's actually make an academy so I can show you guys. This is actually kind of cool. Uh oh, they had a ghost in there. They, like spite my ass. So we're just gonna continue up here for a minute. Oh, here we go. Oh, they yeah, unloaded their one defense against me. All right. Oh no, no, no! They didn't unload anything. Well, I'm probably gonna lose a. Yeah, I lost that thing. Oh wow! Well. Oh wow! Like three Marines died. Captain, I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. In three, Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's worth the effort. And thus we meet Duran. Quite possibly the best guy ever. Uh, and my game is lagging. I, I apparently had a game file called Test. Alright. So we have basically a view of basically everything here, but we're just supposed to go around kind of a thing. It's honestly not that difficult of a mission. Unfortunately, I think I have to leave something, a bunker here to help defend us, so, before I leave. I guess I'll just make a bunch of things here. I don't know what else to do. Uh, oh, let's do re- oh, we can't do, we can't do siege mode. I guess I'll just do a bunch of marines here. I, I can win this game with just marines, it's okay. I mean, we, we have a back door into the base, you hear that, guys? A back door. I'll say it again. A back door. We need to go get this gas, though. It's like the only gas thing we have. It sucks. It makes me depressed. But anyways. Uh, more marines. So yeah, Duran is like the coolest villain ever in games. And... In StarCraft 1, okay? Just keep that in mind, I'm, I'm saying StarCraft 1 here, okay? Any other StarCraft games that we do not talk about here... ...do not have a good version of Duran. Wait, why am I producing... ...brown units? Uh, wasn't it blue before? It's kind of retarded. So we, we just kind of took over their stuff. 
Usually it's usually the builders retain color, and then all the all the new stuff you make is uh, the appropriate color. Right. Just for no reason, make a supply depot beside this bunker, and one over here. It'll help defend it against fire bots, which is the worst enemy in this in this game type. Not really. Alright, so now we can go start making a bunch of upgrades, siege mode. I'm not, I'm not gonna get anything past the two tanks I have, I don't really see the point. I think I, I think I can win it without that. I think what's important is I have commsats, uh, Duran will come, cover our flanks or whatever. Actually, we should go repair these guys. Good job, you, you did that. Done. Uh, they take way longer to repair these things than I thought they would. Alright. So, you want to see the entrance to the base? It's like over here somewhere. Uh, scan is S. Uh, yeah, right there. They got like tanks and shit. So, yeah, wait, we got one more scan, so let's, let's use it. Look at that. Look at that shit. Like all these spider mines, all that stuff. It's a good thing we know a rear to the base. So, let's bring this guy along with us. It seems like such a dickish thing to do. Maybe I should try and attack their front base, but that would that would prolong this mission by like 300%. Just bring these guys up here. Hey look, the first enemies, and they attack Duran. Duran, you should be very upset. Looks like they're not really doing much. And I have that SUV there for, you know. Fun. Ah, uh, that marine didn't stand a chance. What the hell were you trying to attack there? Oh god. Oh god, it begins. Come on, get back here. Wow, there's even marines coming from behind. Duran makes a really good sniper though, he goes like 25 damage against like light units. Fortunately, tanks don't seem to do a whole lot against light units because I think their, their damage is like cut down by like a four. Which is why you need to, them to be covered by by other units. They're really pissed at me. Like we need to continue to move up and go around the, these things. Luckily, we have reinforcements are on the way. So, everything everything is cool now. You can never have enough expendable marines. How can I be of service? Okay, yes, you can just go repair him while we run. I'll take care of it. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, well, no one likes vultures anyways, it's okay. Of course. No, 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 we're not attacking there. Step back. I, it's always kind of cool that the, the, that the they have this this alternate mode for, the, for, these, uh, for these tanks. Okay, this is not looking good right now. You guys all need to come help these guys. That was way too much crap they sent at me. I will not lie. And Duran's gonna die soon. Okay, Duran, you're going home. Bye. You're useful for all but 10 seconds. Okay, seriously, like, we need to... Maybe I should do, like, a, like a little bunker thing here. Bunker strats. Right here. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Just watch. So, basically, I have a severe lack of units here. Um, so, I think my best option right now is actually to to bunker up and then attack the. Keep uh, this up. Oh God. Thank you. Oh, that was close. All right. No, 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 come over here. It's a siege over here. You know, I could, I could win this with just the, these amount of units if I wanted to, and you guys have to really run over here. It's a good thing we have all these units here. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, they're starting to attack that, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an engineering bay. And it's a part, all part of my epic strats, okay? Unfortunately, it looks like everything is dying here, so let's go build, bring a bunch of SCDs up here. 
We can win with just this, trust me. Because trust me, I'm a doctor. And he just he just fire batted the crap out of my tanks. That's that's always great. So you're probably wondering what what is this epic uh, missile turret strategy that you're about to see? And it's a good thing I brought these guys over. They even brought minerals as an offering. Oh god. Oh my guys. Oh god. No, no, no. Everyone needs to go repair that guy. Okay, so what we do is we lift it off. And then we start killing stuff on the other side. This is, this is how you have fun in StarCraft, is lifting off buildings. And this way, we're actually getting, we're kind of slow pushing in. Alright. Yeah, there you go, now they're going after that. Unfortunately, it looks like every unit I have is slowly dying. Probably could have made some more tanks and, and micro those marines a little better. Maybe I should make much more marines and bring them up here and make another bunker. Alright. Move in a little more. Actually, it's a little, probably too far. Right there. That should be good. No, no. I want you guys to attack up over here. So they can't see my engineering base, but I can certainly see them. Fortunately, only one of my tanks can actually. No, nope, neither of them can actually. So let's just keep them alive for now. And bring closer to the, the front lines. This is this is next level Starcraft strats. Okay. It's like the cheapest thing, but you know you can win this game with just you know Marines and tanks. So. The two tanks I started with, you know. Call it a challenge run, but that's how I roll. Not even challenging, but you know. Oh, sure. Well, uh, I'll give myself some more credit. All my, all my fucking SCDs just died. To splash damage. Or we'll win eventually. Oh god, they're repairing it. Uh oh. Let's, uh... What are they... Oh, oh, they can... They can see my tanks through there. Okay, let me make this guy run away. Keep attacking them. Fortunately, one firebat's gonna probably come over here and, and like absolutely wreck this tank. This tank's gonna have a really bad day. No, no, it looks like he's being repaired. And it looks like one of my bases is under attack. Oh no! Flee! Ah! All right. Well, let's go. Let's back to the business here. And it looks like I lost a tank. Well, that sucks. That looks like now it's burning down, though. We could still do it, I believe. They do have race, though. Yeah, they're not even repairing it. They don't care. This is how much the Dominion cares about you guys. Which is not at all. A data core must be really important for them to just, you know, leave it there. Mission successful, Admiral. Excellent, Lieutenant. This planet's primary defenses are now crippled. Our attack teams can now begin to decode the Dominion security data link. By the way, if you want to be a professional StarCraft player like me, always leave about 7,000 minerals and 2,000 gas in your uh, resources because that's how you win the game. That's how, that's how you roll things. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I'll see you later. Bye.